are we? We are on the flight, on the way to Lyon. And the first gig, which uh, actually is <laughs> cancelled. <laughs> That's thumbs up. So uh, I, I actually, I haven't had the time to study the, our, our schedule, so I don't know what we're gonna do for today or tomorrow. Oh, here comes a lady. Uh -huh. No. By the way, I, I forgot to lock uh, the door to the toilet. It's tr true story, not made up. Uh -huh. And uh, I had the thing uh, all the way out. It would feel a bit strange to pass her now. <laughs> she's, she's just two seats away. But you had your penis out. Totally out. <laughs> all the way. All the 48 <laughs> centimeters. Yeah, so... Well, what can you do? No guts, no glory. <laughs> What's that <laughs> supposed to be? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Population of Nordic countries, around 25 million. Out of which 8 million go fishing every year. Out of these, 100,000 are into fly fishing. Out of these, 10,000 don't hate jazz. That leaves around 8 people who are both fanatic fly fishermen and professional jazz musicians. This movie is about 4 of them. Current status of jazz and fly fishing season 2. Crisis. After one whole summer of filming, we're left with a large pile of incoherent and weird material. Get out! Get out! Lots of funny stuff, sure, but hardly any good fishing scenes. The uh, yeah. I can eat. The sea trout trip outside Gothenburg was a pure disaster. Ransaron was fun, but we only got a couple of fishing scenes worth mentioning. And if our friend Arne hadn't been there with his compact camera, we'd be left with nothing after the incredibly stormy 14-day Arctic char expedition. Yeah. With two full years at our disposal, we were kind of expecting the shooting of season 2 to be east. We were aiming for a seamless blend between stunning BBC Nature quality images Am I out of focus? and profound, clever dialogues with the emotional gravitas of a Karl Uwe Knusko novel. My camera far superior to your camera. We still had the autumn tour to France and Poland though, and we were planning to get heaps of good fishing shots there. Since our gig in Lyon was cancelled, we went straight to Malaga instead. Malaga is a small village in the beautiful Loire Valley. We played an intimate gig for the locals there and basically had a really good time. Our hosts at Malaga turned out to be the sweetest people you could ever imagine. Christian is actually a jazz drummer himself. And his wife, Joël, is a gourmet chef, so the food was just uh, second to none. Unfortunately, the actual fishing at Lac de Malague proved to be uh, interesting. But as usual, we got plenty of weird stuff on camera.
the world is fucked, it's your fault, and it's getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> Our main contact in Poland was a really cool guy by the name of Ranjit Prasad. Ranjit plays the double bass, goes fly fishing a lot and runs a top-notch studio. Our session in Saraswati Studios came out really well and we got a couple of nice tracks from there, including a brand new piece by Iona called Sun, after Sun Rip. And the gig in Rosla was a lot of fun too. We had a great audience and a really nice vibe going on there. It quickly became obvious to us that it was going to be difficult to get the fishing shots we needed from the Sun River. The Sun River is stunningly beautiful. It has incredible hatches and it's packed with grayling and trout. But since there was a fly fishing festival going on, it was also absolutely packed with other fishermen. Go fishing! We did catch a couple of fish there, but they weren't exactly um, the stuff dreams are made of. So, uh, we did what we usually do when all else fails. We started shadow casting, and we uncorked the bottle. Big like shit. Oh, it's jumping! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> it's in the weeds. Getting material. Wind is turning. Oh. 
That's a good one. Now it's really happening. Something is changing. And it's in our favor. Because it couldn't get any worse. Let's go. I think it makes sense to go now. So beautiful just to be here without the wind, but uh, tomorrow is going to be.